there's some trade-offs so between the hogs. The hog that wants the first class is certainly a bit more comfortable as it gets out and traps here in our final drive. We talked about in class, he was probably you know, leaning up in that particular situation. So questioning once I get right on top of him, setting over his loin eggs and trying to put off quite a bit of extra finish there. I see that hog is being one that's really good from a build standpoint, but for me, maybe needs to be just a bit cleaner in, in order to improve his target stability. The uh, young lady's barrel he comes out of the second class, really heavy bone, he's stout made opened up all the way through. I really like the muscle shape and expression of this guy. I'd like to see him quite a bit more sound, quite a bit sounder as he travels. So I think there's some give and take. What we have here is we've got a barrel that I like a little bit better from a build standpoint. We've got a barrel that I think is going to uh, be a, a little bit more appropriate whenever we take him to the rail and, and open him up from a carcass cutability standpoint. So I think it's really, you know, personal preference wouldn't argue with folks if they wanted to do it one way or the other. I think there's validity in doing both. For me, this is a performance marrow contest, so I think maybe a bit more uh, emphasis should be placed here on rail and performance. With that said, I'm going to use the marrow that needs to be a bit sounder for me. But I like his chances on the rail just a notch better. This will be champion. Congratulations to Hunter Provost out of Pimperville, Ohio. Barrel number 1113, your champion, Light Cross Performance Barrel. That barrel had an average daily gain of 2.33 pounds per day. We need that 